In this video, we're going to study Aesop's fable of the stag in the ox stall. The stag in the ox stall, which is lesson 11 in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy's Aesop's Fables course. We're going to read the fable together and then look at the characters that Aesop chooses to use and then talk about the moral of the story and, and then meditate on how this fable helps us in life to think wisely and act rightly. So let's read together the fable of the stag in the ox stall. And before we begin, let's just remember that a stag is a buck or a male deer with, with antlers. Okay? The stag in the ox stall. A stag, hard-pressed, by the hounds, ran for shelter into an ox stall, the door of which was open. One of the oxen turned around and asked him why he came to such a place as that, where he would be sure to be taken. The stag replied that he should do well enough if the oxen would not tell of him, and covering himself in a heap of straw, he waited for the night. Several servants, and even the farm bailiff himself, came and looked around, but saw nothing of the stag, who, as each went away, was ready to jump out of his skin for joy and warmly thanked the oxen for their silence. The ox, who had spoken first to him, warned him not to be too sure of his escape, and said that glad as they would all be for him to get away, there was a certain person still to come, whose eyes were a good deal sharper than the eyes of anyone who had been there yet. This was the master himself, who having been dining with a neighbor, looked in on his way home to see that all was right. At a glance, he saw the tips of the horns coming through the straw Whereupon he raised the hue and cry and called all his people together and made a prize of the stag. The fable of the stag in the ox stall. Now a few notes just about the story. As I said, a stag is a buck, a male deer with, with antlers. And we've talked about the stag before in an earlier fable. We talked about the stag admiring his antlers, who eventually got caught because of his antlers. But deer live out in the woods and in fields. And what's amazing about the deer is that they're very, very fast and they can leap. In fact, when we see someone who's great at jumping, we say he leaps like a deer. And so the best place for a deer or a stag to be is out in the woods or out in the fields where there's plenty of room to run and hide and jump. That's where deer are actually safe because they can outrun their enemies and they can get away by jumping over a fence or something like that. <clears throat> so... When this stag runs into the ox stall, which is basically a barn, a closed-in space, which is not good for the stag, doesn't help the stag to be safe in a place where he can't run or jump. And that's why the ox says, what are you doing in here? This place isn't good for you. And so the stag hides under some straw and hopes that no one will see him. He hopes to hide. And he, it says that he's waiting 
for the night when hopefully the darkness will allow him to escape and not be seen. And so some servants come and they look around and they see nothing. And the stag begins to think that because he's successful in hiding that he's going to be able to escape. But the, the ox warns, I don't think so. When the master comes, he can just see things that the other people can't see. So I wouldn't be so sure that you're going to get away. And just like the ox said, when the master comes, it says, at a glance, he saw the tips of the horns coming through the straw and saw the stag and called everyone together and the stag was caught. And when it says they made a prize of him, that means they ate him. Okay. So what does this fable teach us? The stag is in a place where he doesn't belong. And he's trusting that no one will see him there. The ox is where he belongs. He's, he's not in trouble. He's, he's doing what he should do. There's nothing for the ox to worry about. But this stag is not where he belongs. He's in a place where he shouldn't be. And for some time, he's able to hide there and stay hidden and be safe. And he's just hoping that no one sees him. But the ox warns that the master is able to see things that the other people can't see. And now we're told these other people were servants. And it's pretty simple to understand why servants can't see things. Servants are there just to do a job. They really don't want to be there. It's not their stuff. And servants never really care about things the way that the owner does. Servants are just there to do their job, to earn their pay or you know earn their keep. And they're usually not doing everything they can when they're working. They're usually doing what they have to, and that's it. But the master, because everything is his, he knows it much better than the servants do. He's much more careful about it, and he looks more carefully, and he's able to see things that maybe the servants and the others are not able to see. And the ox warns the stag that when the master comes, you might not get away. And you can't trust in the night to keep you hidden from the master. And just as he said, the master comes and quickly sees him and catches him. Now, there's a very simple, um, I could say spiritual or moral lesson here. And we all know what it's like to do bad things and try to hide. We all know what it's like to try to cover up or lie about things we've done and stay hidden or do things in the dark because we don't think anyone will see them. We think that the darkness will cover us and hide us and keep us safe. We think that we can hide and get away when we're doing something or when we're in a place where we shouldn't be. And the ox warns us that we better not trust that we're going to get away. And sometimes we don't get caught and that makes us bolder and puts us in more danger. But the truth is the master for us, not for stags, not for oxen, but for people, the master is God. And we know that God is not a body, but is a spirit. And therefore, it's impossible to hide from God. God is like the master. He can see through everything. He can easily see and, and can easily find us 
when we're doing something wrong or when we're somewhere we shouldn't be. He sees and knows everything because the whole world is his. It's all his possessions. And he knows where everything is and where everything should be and what every creature should be doing. He knows and can see everything. And there's no way for us to hide from the eyes of the master. We can hide from others. We can hide from our parents. We can hide from a teacher. We can hide from our neighbor or from some other people, from our brothers and sisters. We can hide, and they're all like the servants in this fable. But we can't hide from the master. He's different, and he can see everything. And we can't trust that the darkness will keep us safe. Because with God, the darkness is nothing. He created the darkness. It's not dark to him. It's dark to us because we see. And in order for us to see with our eyes, we need light. But God doesn't have eyes. He doesn't see like we do. He doesn't need light to know what we're doing, where we are. And so we can't hide from the master. We're like the stag trying to hide under some hay with his antlers sticking out. And think how foolish that is to try and hide in, a, in an ox stall made for the oxes. To be a big, big stag with antlers trying to hide and thinking that no one will see, no one will know. And the master comes and immediately sees and knows and captures the stag. So I think that's a clear message, clear moral teaching, clear spiritual lesson, clear warning from Aesop in this fable of the danger of thinking that we're going to be able to hide or get away with something as if the master won't see us. We're like the stag, <clears throat> and the servants are like other people. Um, <clears throat> the oxen may also be like other people who don't necessarily want us to get caught, but the master is the one who can catch us, and we're never going to get away. We're never going to be able to hide ourselves from the eyes of the master, as it were. <clears throat> so the, the fable of the stag and the ox stall shows us the danger of being where we shouldn't be and trusting that we'll be able to hide ourselves, save ourselves. And we need to, we need to realize that just because we hide doesn't mean that no one can see us. Um, the master who knows everything and can see everything and knows where everything should be, can find us and catch us. So that's a beginning to this study. As with all the fables, there may be more that uh, you might be able to see in the details. You may be able to think of some other stories or, or examples that, that help us to understand this fable. And I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts and ideas about the meaning of this fable. That's one of the benefits of the assignments that I give you, to write the moral and explain the meaning. Um, many times students notice very interesting things that I didn't notice, and, uh, and I enjoy reading those assignments. You can also post comments on the community forum and share ideas there. So study the fable of the uh, stag and the ox stall, and let me know what you think. I hope that you find these fables helpful, and I hope that when you learn them, you think about them and how they can help you in life to make good decisions, to avoid problems, and to enjoy a happy life. May God bless your studies.